Hello everyone and welcome back. I just came across this like cool model which is like Tiny Llama 1.1b, okay? It's just like 1.1 billion parameters model, okay? And they are claiming that it's actually really good and it's actually like super fast, blazingly fast, okay? And you can run this thing like on the CPU without GPU. Okay? Today, what we are going to do, we are going to test this thing like on local machine, where we are going to simply like use LM Studio to run this model on a machine and check whether this model is actually capable of like what Tiny Llama is saying or not. Okay, because this is the future of AI. I actually love the models which are like smaller in size and have like greater capabilities. So I want to check whether this model is actually worth it or not. Okay. All right. So in this particular video, we'll try to see how to run Tiny Llama 1.1b locally. I will simply open up the LM Studio. Okay. So we are now using LM Studio for like really long time. Okay. And it's actually really great and amazing tool if you want to run uh, open source LLMs like locally. Okay. What you can do here, you can simply like type in tiny llama. Yeah, tiny llama and click on go. Okay. So yeah, I will be testing out this one, which is from like the blog tiny llama 1.1b chat. And it's like in GGUF format. Okay. All right. So let me just try to download like one of the model from here. It's downloading. It's like only 550 MBs. So that's really a great thing. Okay. I'll just simply wait and I'll be back when the download is actually done. Okay. All right. So our model has been downloaded successfully. So let me just try to see whether it's in the downloads folder. So yeah, that is actually here. Okay. So now what I should do, I will simply go to like the chat option here. Let me just try to get rid of this thing. Now I will simply try to load tiny llama. Okay. So now I will try to actually check this model on like five to six different parameters. Okay. First, let's just try to check it from coding's perspective. Okay. So I am giving it a prompt like write a simple Python function that swaps the values of two variables without using a temporary variable. Okay. So let me just try to enter it and see like how does it perform in this particular scenario. Okay. Well, to be honest, I am literally impressed by its speed. The speed is like really awesome and it's like looking really fast. Okay. All right. So if we talk about like the implementation, okay, it actually does solve our problem. Okay. But the problem is that it's actually using a temporary variable, which is like C. Okay. So it's not that up to the mark. So I will say that it's probably a fail in this particular scenario. Okay. All right. So now let's try to see it from analytical problem solving perspective. I'll say if a box contains five red, three green and two blue balls, what is the probability of randomly selecting a red ball? Okay. All right, I didn't say to like give me the Python code. Okay, let me just give it once again and I can say I don't want code. Just provide me with an answer. Okay, it's again giving me the Python code. I don't know what's the issue with this model. I don't want code. <laughs> yeah, it's absolutely it's a fail in this scenario as well. Okay, let me just try to see it from like uh, the creative writing perspective, I write a poem on AI in exactly 50 words. Well, it doesn't seem to be a poem. Okay. Well, to be honest, I'm pretty much disappointed with like tiny llama 1.1b. I don't know what's the issue with this tiny little thing. The speed is fast. The generation is actually looking like really great. It's not just simply doing performing the task that I wanted. Okay. Let's try to like give it a mathematical question. I'll say solve for x like the statement is 2x plus 5 equals 15. Okay. The value of x should be 5 in this scenario. Okay. I don't know what this trying to do. It's simply a fail in this scenario as well. Okay. Let me just try to give it one more prompt. Then we can close this by giving a conclusion. Okay. I can say write an email to my boss letting them know that I am leaving the company. Okay. Well, this response seems to be like not that great. In my opinion, it's actually okay. So yeah, 
So, all right, let's try to see the fact checking. I'm saying, like, who was the president of United States in 1996? Okay. Yeah, it has actually the information of facts you can see right over here. Sometimes it just gives the outrageous responses. Okay. So, to conclude, like, this model is actually like really lightweight. The generation speed is actually awesome. You can run it locally on just CPU. You don't need any GPU, but I think it can just simply perform basic tasks right. So that marks the end of our this video. I hope you like this one. Thank you so much for watching and I shall catch you up in some other one. Till then, have a good day. Bye.